I have $500 to open my small business. Yesterday, I was lying in bed and I couldn't fall asleep. I was thinking about the pathetic failure <laughs> that was my last video when I tried to order in some pins. And I was thinking like, what is the problem? Like people are opening their small businesses every single day. I get those videos on my recommended page all the time. What is my problem? And I had an epiphany. I do not want to spend money. I really don't have money to spend on just like, you know, buying stuff that I don't even know if it will ever bring me any profit or it will be just a waste of time and money. But then I finally realized that you cannot not spend the money to then turn them into profit. Can't believe it took me so long to realize that. So I decided to invest in myself. I've been working with air dry clay for the past three years and I really wanted to try actual pottery like ceramics, but I couldn't find a kill near me in the UK. But now that I've moved to Paris, I was like, yeah, finally I can follow my dream. But everything turned out to be much more complicated than I expected. So today I woke up early. I decided to be productive. I went to the store I thought would have everything that I need, including a kiln for rent. It was raining. I was sleeping miserable, but hopeful until all my hopes were crushed <laughs> after I waited by their doors for 45 minutes and they just never opened opened. Three hours later though, they answered my DM saying that they are indeed open. So thank you very much. On my way home, I accidentally went the wrong way and ended up on the other side of Paris. Then an escalator abruptly stopped on my way up. Thankfully, nobody fell. My card got declined and I almost got stuck in a turnstile. So we are off to an amazing start. So next Monday, which was a couple of days ago, I was like, hello, is Caitlin working today? Because I didn't want to make another trip and be disappointed again. And they're like, yeah, yeah, she works today. Did you make an order online? And I'm like, no, I, I wanted to speak to a person and order from the store, like get everything that I see and like choose the colors and stuff like that. And they're like, you cannot buy anything in the store. Why didn't you tell me this a week ago? Turns out you have to open the catalog on their website and then just write them an email. You can't order on the website too. You have to physically write everything that you need, that you want to order and then send them an email and then they will deliver it. So I'm like, I don't, I don't think I want to order from there anymore. Okay, I just got home. I'm gonna say a couple of words about the, the results of my trip. I went to the store, right? And of course, they didn't have anything that I needed, even though over email told me that they have everything that I need. And uh, after a lot of back and forth between two consultants, one of whom spoke English and the other one knew more about clay but didn't speak English, they couldn't help me with anything. What they advised me to buy is air dry clay that you can then cover in food safe glazing slash varnish which I don't think it's... Uh, I don't know, can you do that? I thought not. Anyway, first of all, I don't want to risk it. Second of all, I want to make an actual like pottery glazes and stuff and fire things. So I just bought the sponges um, and then I found this huge painting palette for just one sixty-five. Also got this foam brush. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I have this thought that it's easier to apply paints with a foam brush. I'm not sure, but it was just 130 or 160 or something, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I got two DAS air dry clay packages, and that is all. Sort of pointless, but at least I got the clay. So I'm gonna order the rest of the things online, I guess. I then continued my seemingly never-ending journey of trying to find clay, underglaze, glaze, and stuff like that. I emailed the company that produces all this stuff here in France, and we've been going back and forth for like weeks. I've been trying to get them to say like, yeah, you can buy this clay, and it's going to be compatible with this glaze, and it's going to make it food safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and stuff like that. But they were not giving me the answers that I wanted to hear. Like, of course, I did my own research, but I wanted the professionals to confirm. 
but here comes the twist at one point we realized that the clay that i want to buy needs to be fired at at least 1200 degrees and the kiln that i wanted to rent only fires clay at 980 degrees so i begin my side quest of trying to find a kiln which seemed almost impossible at one point i actually did manage to find one uh, outside of paris not too far away but at the same time from me it'll be like a, a two-hour journey almost which is not very convenient and less than ideal the communication with this company though i guess i was talking to the owner or something was also not very pleasant it felt like i wasn't a customer but i was trying to break in into his own house and to use his oven i don't know i was asking like the the most basic questions like uh, when are you open like when can i bring the clay how long will it take and stuff like that because this information was not on the website and at one point he was like that's too many questions <laughs> what what are you you mean too many questions uh anyway at least it's something i guess okay so i finally figured it all out this is my basket i have the white stoneware smooth clay and then four colors of why did i choose these ones by the way maybe i need to choose something else four colors of under glaze and then a shiny glossy i'm guessing transparent glaze which is unleaded and safe food uh, i mean food safe and um, the total is, with delivery, is almost 100 euros, which is a hefty price. Um, I'm really honestly scared to spend that much money on it. My mood swings from like, oh, nobody will ever buy anything to like, oh, I can do it. I can I at least can give it a try to like, uh, you shouldn't spend that much money. It's like way too much. You don't, you don't have a job to like, I need to give it a try. It's now or never. So it's like, oh, I'm all over the place. Okay, so I just placed the first order. It's a small one. It's just three under glazes. Um, I found them on another website because the one that I've been using to buy clay and all the other stuff, they didn't have those colors. So I ordered from the other one, which I had to pay 10 more euros for the delivery which is unfortunate. Now placing the order for the clay, two under glazes and a shiny glaze food safe one. Another order for 64 euros is done. Already received the first parcel, ordered it yesterday and it's already here. These are just the first three glazes. Ooh, packing peanuts. I can use that. I've always wanted to touch them. <laughs> They're so fun. That's amazing. I don't need to buy them now. <laughs> so we have one kilogram of salmon color. That was the smallest one they had. So this is a big jar. And then we have two smaller ones. Okay, so we have <laughs> two more colors. I think they're supposed to be baby blue and baby pink, but they're called Yima or Yema and Azul. Oh, I forgot it's all in French probably. <laughs> But I mean, salmon is in English. Anyway, here are three of my first glazes. I'm so excited to finally do this. Okay, so we have black under glaze. Uh, this is just a clear glaze. This is white, I'm guessing. It's Blanco suspension. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> 10 kilograms of clay. Okay, so this is everything that I need, I guess. The postcards just got delivered. So exciting, but also so scary. Finger crossed, it's looking good. I have already ordered from this company, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure with uh, about the quality. Although one of the other postcards that I ordered had a white border and you can sort of control it on the website. They ask you to download it, like put it for, for, in the right area and stuff like that. But I struggle with it, not gonna lie. Um, the company is called Moo, by the way. Something's falling out of here, okay. So the first one, I already sold these postcards. These are with the little frog and it says, Good day. Now to the experimental ones. Okay, well, it does look exactly as the picture, although I think it was cut at the top of it a little closer to what I wanted. 
like it has a cloud that is supposed to be in the picture but overall i think it looks pretty cute like on this glossy paper it looks much better <laughs> okay this one is looking great actually i kind of love it <laughs> i don't know it's oh shoot it has a black line at the top of it is it a part of the illustration I need to check if I have it on the illustration because it's gonna be super dumb if I just left a black line on there. But okay, I didn't even notice it at first. It's like, it's not very... It's okay, I guess. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, the Lawson one looks cute. And the last one, this was the rushest decision that I've ever made. I actually drew this illustration for a Japanese class. They asked us to, they had a text in Japanese and we needed to draw um, whatever the text said. So like there was a ryokan that, said, that stood near something and then near that there was a lake and stuff like that. And I, I don't know, I just kind of like this illustration. I like the cats. Um, I wanted to order like three of these. The thing is you can order as many designs as, as you want so like if I order 50 postcards, I can upload 50 designs and it's gonna be okay. But unfortunately, you cannot choose how many designs you want for a specific picture. So I wanted to order like, for example, the, the frog ones, like 25, let's say. And then the other ones, like maybe two or three or five to just check them out. Um, but if you order 50, it, they are gonna separate them equally. So it's gonna be 10 of each if it's five designs. But yeah, overall, I'm actually happy with how it turned out. I need to check if I'm dumb or not, if I left a black line. Okay, the moment of truth. No, it doesn't have a line. It's like the easiest picture to print, isn't it? It's just black and white, literally. The top is completely white and the borders are supposed to be super white. I don't know what's the... Oh, yep, that's me. I'm the problem. If I make the design smaller, then the line appears. It used to have a line there, I guess. Oh, because I was doing like a Polaroid thing. Oh my God. So I just placed an order for 50 pins. I spent so long on Alibaba going back and forth with all those manufacturers. And somebody in the comments actually recommended me um, this company called Vast Pins or Vast Gifts. Um, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, but I, um, I requested a quote and it was actually cheaper than on Alibaba, which is like super cool, but at the same time super suspicious. So I'm, I'm a little worried about the quality, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so I spent $107 on it and um, I am very excited and very scared. So we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I think I have ordered everything that I need, except for stickers. They're taking a bit longer than I expected. I'm still drawing some of the designs, but I know the final price for four designs that I wanna make, uh, it's gonna be $110. So I'm just gonna deduct it from the budget. And um, I have $133 left. And I was like, oh my God, so much money is left. I'm gonna buy packaging, I'm gonna buy more clay, and I will still have a lot of money left and I didn't expect that but then I remembered that I will need to fire clay and uh, one round of firing for 60 L liters of kiln space or something it's gonna cost me about $40 I guess I don't remember anyway I'm gonna be talking more about pottery in my pottery dedicated video but for now I think it'll be safe to deduct about $80 for, for the kiln and then I'm gonna need to buy like bubble wrap and boxes and stuff like that. I think it's safe to say that the budget is over. <laughs> I've spent all the money. Good morning. I just realized that I'm not just reopening my Etsy shop, I'm reopening it in another country. And I'm not even sure if you can change the country on Etsy. I've been reading a lot of articles about that and some people say that you can, some people say that you can't. So I decided to just contact um, Etsy support and <laughs> find out for myself. And also taxes and stuff. I tried to get my tax number here in France and um, they told me that I can't. So it's a lot more trouble than just buying things and making things and trying to sell them. I need to set up everything so that I don't get fined or deported from the country. So I'm contacting Etsy support now. So let's see what they say. So it turns out you cannot just change the country. You have to set up a whole new shop. Why? Like what, what, what year is this? Why can't you just change the country on the website? and just provide the new information and stuff. It's so silly. I'm gonna have to lose all the reviews, all the stars and little things. Oh, and also I'm gonna have to find a new name for the store because I can't 
choose the same one. I'm just gonna put up one at the end or something. Okay, so here's my Etsy store. I wanted to change all of it and rebrand a little bit, but I'm gonna have to lose my 62 sales and five stars and um, also all of these reviews that people left, which was super nice to have, but... supposed to create a listing before I even set up a shop. I want to do this the last. So I just set up the Etsy account and I posted a couple of first listings and something crazy is happening. I've been getting these spam scam messages saying that I need to update something, that I need to, the item, uh, one of my items has been sold and I need to email them and I have 30 minutes to complete it. Otherwise, uh, my shop will be closed, uh, temporarily disabled or will be like deleted from the site or something. Look at the frequency they've been sending them to me. One, two, three, four, five, every 20 minutes or so, I, I'm, I'm getting a new spam message. I've been selling on Etsy for the past four years, I guess, uh, when I used to live in the UK. I received zero messages like this. As soon as I post a listing in Paris, I get flooded with these emails. What a hack. But the first posted listings are looking pretty good. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out. And uh, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to follow my journey and I'll see you soon. Bye.